the number one player partner, Maggie Mag07, and I know why y'all here, man. Y'all are trying to get that new bottom dollar bail enforcement agent outfit, man. That's a lot, man. So what we're saying is you're, you're here for that bounty hunter outfit, man. I get it. How you get to it once you have acquired it is through your outfits that are saved. You go over to the career progress, and it's right here, man. This is how it looks. This is fire. You can add glasses and hats to it. If you add shoes or anything else, it'll change the outfit. That's just something y'all know. How you um, get to it is you go to the pause menu, go to your career progress, head on over to businesses, and then click on bottom dollar bounties okay it is three tiers to get to it so we got to get through the first two the first one is set up a bail office meet with maud and secure your first bounty all right so obviously you have to purchase the uh, building once you head inside of your building you then you will meet maud all right so this is a cut scene that will happen and then after that you get your first um uh, you secure your first bounty and that's it right there, man. Easy peasy, right? Y'all definitely, y'all definitely, I'm saying, go in and comment and like the video, and you will receive this jacket on tier one, all right? So tier one is this jacket. You can't get to the other outfit until you go through the tiers, all right? Tier two is secure or eliminate five standard bounty targets and secure two most wanted bounty targets and earn $250 thousand dollars in securing and eliminating bounty targets okay so the first three those are the regular standard ones and then the red one is the most wanted ones okay um now if you were to uh eliminate your target on accident or on purpose this cutscene will happen once you drop off your eliminated target to the coroner's office now either we'll do eliminating or securing you just have to do five okay so now we're on to the most wanted the reds are the most wanted okay you got to do two missions of those once you do two missions of those you unlock the tier two which is the stun gun livery you do not unlock the stun gun though okay that's totally separate just a heads up i want y'all to know that all right so now we're at tier three where you have to eliminate 10 bounties without losing your life secure three most wanted um bounties three days in a row and um secure or eliminate 25 different bounties okay so um if you do the two um if you do tier two then you would have already eliminated two different wanted levels okay so that helps you out and then like i said the first one is you have to secure like a standard or a regular uh bounty um without losing your life okay so the standard ones in my opinion are are fairly easy the most wanted ones are a little bit challenging they have like a little bit of a story mode to it and things that you got to go through but but all of it is fun to me all of it is fun to me i know y'all still here so subscribe to the channel because i'm walking y'all through this whole thing at any time you want you can definitely pause it go back so that you can have a clear understanding for what is going on like i said to get to the uh, bounty hunter outfit you have to complete the first two tiers because the bounty hunter outfit is on tier three all right so this what this right here was my first uh most wanted mission and it went successfully um now you don't have to worry about um uh, um dying or not in the mission you just have to complete the mission all right but like i said um once you get to tier three you have to do at least 10 of the bounties and not die all right so make sure to take your time make sure to uh you know maybe even bring you a car that has armor on it whatever you need because if you are killed in that mission then you have to do a whole nother mission to make sure that you don't die all right so that's probably the only challenging part i'll probably say you know what i'm saying um with the uh, first um check box and then like i said the uh, second one once you get to tier three you would have already completed the um two most wanted missions so you would just only have to do one more most wanted mission and then you would just have to keep logging in to your bail office to make sure to complete a total of 25 all right so not 25 most wanted missions there's 25 missions in total and then you know you got it going man i know y'all still here so like the video y'all see me securing stuff all right so anytime it shows that like you secured and you did all that those are the most wanted missions okay um 
you have to um, do a most wanted mission and then kind of come back. Sometimes they'll just kind of um, they'll show up um, as you are, you know, playing through GTA online. And sometimes you probably got to wait like a whole nother day. So I just want to throw that out there and just be transparent with y'all because y'all may come back and then the most wanted mission is still not available and it's still showing the previous one that you did. OK, so just know you may have to come back uh, like another day and finish that mission. All right. But it's fairly easy, man. It just may take a little bit of time. That's all I probably would say. And it's, it's right here, man. Y'all let me know down in the comment section, man, if I helped y'all out. I'm finna get on up out of here, man. Do some more bounties, man. It's your number one player, partner, Maggie Mag 7 Make sure to like, subscribe, share, and tell a friend. I'm